What you guys got another video here for you on Kaspersky antivirus software. If you don't know already, the United States of America have banned uh, Kaspersky products in the United States. Now, this could follow suit right across Europe if they follow America. And I'm pretty sure in the UK, they will follow suit very soon. Now, this is a Russian based uh, software company. And uh, in September of this year, you will not receive any more support or updates from Kaspersky if you live in the United States. Now, of course, this is only America at the moment, but this could also escalate further due to the fact that this is a Russian made piece of software. And you can read an article, which I'll leave in the video description, on their decision. This has been going on for quite a while. Now, it's going to be important that you remove and uninstall all of the remnants of this program from your computer. And I'll show you how to do it in this video because it is banned and it will be blocked in September. But before we do that, let's have a quick word for today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 11 Pro or a cheap Windows 10 Pro OEM key, then check out the links in the video description. And use my promo code capital B capital R 9 and apply this to your order. And once you've done this, they will send you your product key to your account. You will need to create an account on their website and then you can submit your order and use PayPal to pay for your purchases. They will then send you a key and you can then activate your version of Windows just like you see on the screen right here. OK, so let's go ahead and I'll show you basically what you're going to need to do to uninstall uh, Kaspersky from your computer. Now, normally you would go into a uh, control panel and then uninstall a program and you'll see the three of them here. But this is going to leave a lot of remnants behind on your computer and you really don't want to do that. You want to use a different method. Now, the first method I'll show you is using Kaspersky's own removal tool. This is their removal tool for removing their software from your computer. So let's go ahead and download this and get it installed on the system and we can then choose to uninstall our Kaspersky. Now, obviously, Kaspersky has other applications that come bundled with it, and you'll want to need to uninstall all of that as well. So straight away, it's asking me to put in this code here so I can remove it because it needs to make sure that uh, you definitely want to remove this from your PC. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to quickly punch in this number here and we can then click on remove and it should uninstall and remove Kaspersky uh, from our system. Now, the US government are advising that you do this immediately rather than wait until September because they say that because of the nature of the software, it could be very risky to run it on your system if you live in the United States. At the moment, it's not uh, worldwide. It is just the United States of America that is enforcing this. But like all things uh, in America, it, it's followed quickly by the United Kingdom. So we could end up doing exactly uh, what America have done. So now you've done that, you'll need to restart your PC. And what we're going to do here is restart the PC and go back and get the rest of the remnants that will be left behind because it doesn't remove everything. That's the problem with uninstalling uh, software like this. And because of the nature of it, we're going to need to make sure every trace of uh, Kaspersky is removed from the computer. So let's go back into here and you'll see there's a couple of extra programs, which is Kaspersky Password Manager and Kaspersky uh, VPN. We definitely want to uninstall those as well because they will be blocked and banned as well. So you can see them here. We can go up to here and uninstall these two via the normal method. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click on these and click uninstall. And we want to remove all of this stuff as well. So you can take the check marks out here because you want to remove all of the application settings and things like that because you're not going to be reinstalling it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right here and click finish and go ahead and do the VPN. So let's go ahead and remove the VPN from our computer. I'm going to just click next here. And once we've done this, we can click remove. And this will uninstall all of the program. Now, you may be thinking that's pretty easy as there's no more stuff left on the system. But there is quite a few more bits left on the computer that you still need to remove to make sure you've removed every trace of this software from your PC. So we'll just let this finish off. Now, sometimes what happens is you end up uh, having the system hang on you just like it's doing right here. It's trying to remove Kaspersky VPN and it will stick on this screen for quite a while and it will just hang. If that is the case, I'll show you how to 
uh, get past this and literally uninstall it. The problem is, is the process is still running and it can't uninstall the software. So I'm going to leave this as is right here. And what we're going to do here is we're going to right click on the uh, taskbar here and go to task manager. Inside here, there will be a process in here, which is Kaspersky's process. So what we need to do is we need to highlight this one here, right click on it and uh, end task. Once that ends task for the Kaspersky process, you'll see automatically it's now uninstalled this and it wants to restart the PC. So let's go ahead and I'm going to restart the PC now and uh, we'll do the finishing uh, cleaning up process once we get back to the desktop. So I've rebooted the PC and now you need to download a tool called Everything. This is a, a free tool that you can download and install. I'm going to quickly get this installed on the system. Click OK, click Next and install this on the PC. This tool is really one of my go-to tools. And if you do a search for Kaspersky or CAS or anything like that, it will show up all of the leftover files on your system. And you can see there's quite a few of them. Now, some of these won't let you delete them like this. So let me just go ahead and quickly show you. And I'll quickly right click on these and hit delete. And some of these still are literally being used on the system. You can see I want to permanently delete this and it won't let me uh, do it because it's a system file. So what we need to do is we need to take ownership of these files so we can go ahead and delete them. Let me quickly show you how we can do that. You can get a free registry edit file to download and install it on your system, which will give you the take ownership. So when you right click on here, you will then see the take ownership button on here. You won't be able to delete it because it will say try again, but there is a take ownership right here after you've put the registry key in. And uh, you can see it on the screen. I'll show you in a second. So I'm just going to quickly take ownership of these files. Push enter here on the keyboard. And now we should be able to delete these once we've taken ownership of it like so. I'm just going to go through here and take ownership of all of these. Push enter and then we can delete that file. And once these are deleted, Kaspersky should be fully removed from the computer. Now, if you're wondering about the Kaspersky event log, don't worry, that's just a log. And you can remove that by clearing the logs inside Event Viewer. So if you want to do that one, you can do, but I'm not going to show you that, but you can do it by clearing the logs. I've made videos showing you how to clear the logs inside Event Viewer. So I'm just going to quickly take ownership of the rest of these. And we will then move on to the next method, which I'll show you after this one. So I'm just going to do these last couple. There we go. And we can now delete. And you shouldn't have to really do this, but obviously this is just what you have to do to remove this uh, software from your system. So we'll leave this one, but it's uh, just a log file and you can open up Event Viewer and delete it. If you need the Take Ownership Context Menu file, you can get this from uh, a website. I'll leave the link in the video description here. There is a version for Windows 10 and Windows 11, depending on which one you want. It's called 11forum.com or 10forum.com, and you can download it and install it on your system, and it will give you that take ownership on your right-click context menu. I have made videos on this before, and you can see here the next method is to use Revo Uninstaller. This is a free tool that you can download and you can see I've already got Kaspersky back on the system. I'm going to quickly install Revo Uninstaller. Why would you want to use this method instead of the other method? The only reason you would want to use Revo Uninstaller is if you don't want to use the Kaspersky removal tool to remove Kaspersky and you wanted to use another third party app, you could use this. So highlight Kaspersky, click on uninstall. You can make a system restore point if you want to, to make sure in case there's any issues, click continue. And now it will go ahead and it will say, are you sure you want to uninstall it? We do want to confirm this and say, yes, we want to uninstall. Click next and now click next again. And now we can remove all of this. So you can see all the check marks are already out and click remove. And this will remove Kaspersky from the computer. This is using your general standard uninstaller. But what we're going to do after this is we're going to scan for any leftovers that are left behind. So you will see it saying uninstallation in progress. Just let it finish off here. It does take a bit of time to uh, finish this process off. Uh, just a few seconds. Again, if it hangs, you can clear the process. You can just go to the task manager here and close the uh, 
Kaspersky process. It's the AVP process. You'll see it pop up on the screen here. There'll be a black prompt screen popping up. And that is the uh, Kaspersky AVP process that I've just cleared. So that's now clear and it should finish off and clear off the uninstallation process. So you do have to end that process because it is running in the background. Once that's done, it's going to ask you to restart the system. Don't restart right away. Click no here because we want to scan for any leftovers. Go to advance and then click on scan. And this will scan your system for any remnants that are left behind uh, for Kaspersky. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Here they are right here. Select all of these and now click on delete and it will delete all these from the computer. You'll see all of the other stuff disappear like so. And now that's done, we can restart our computer. So I'm going to close off this one right here, close this window off and restart the computer. So let's go ahead and quickly do that right here. I'm going to re quickly restart and we should get back to the desktop here. And once we've done this, Kaspersky theoretically should be off the system. Now you'll need to download that search everything again. So go ahead and download that and get that installed on the computer because we do need to still search for a few more files on the computer that's left. Now with this method, you will need to go into safe mode. It's easier to do it from safe mode because uh, all of the processes uh, should be uh, stopped inside safe mode. So what I'm going to do here, I'll quickly do a search here and you'll see it. There's a load of stuff left behind. So the removal tool for Kaspersky is obviously uh, better because it does remove a lot. But if you don't want to use that tool, you can still use this method. Just remove everything you can here like this. But if you do start getting messages saying you can't remove this file because it's being used or it's running in the background, then you'll need to go into uh, safe mode to remove it. So let me go ahead and what we'll do here now is I'm making sure the process is closed here. Any processes that are running, you'll need to close them. Even though we've uninstalled it, there might be a process still there for one of the other applications. So all I'm doing here is I'm just going through and deleting what I can. You can do it one, one at a time or you can highlight all of them like this and then you can delete them. Uh, whether you want to uh, delete two at a time or you want to delete a whole bunch of them like this. Now, you might find doing it as a whole bunch, it let you do some of them, but some might stop you from being deleted like this one right here. It will probably flag up in a second. Let me just quickly remove these. OK, it's the folders that are not allowing me to delete. It's giving me an error code like this. OK, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to restart the system here. Even if I take ownership here, it wasn't letting me delete them for some reason using this method. But that's easily sorted because we'll just boot into uh, safe mode. So restart the computer and hold your left shift key down on your keyboard. Continue to hold the left shift key down and it will take us into this choose an option right here into our recovery option. Go down to troubleshoot and then go to advanced options here and then come down to uh, startup settings. Click on this one right here and restart the computer and this will give us another option to select safe mode so let's go ahead click restart and you'll come back and you'll see this so we're going to choose safe mode by pressing the number on the keyboard and it will take us into safe mode like you're seeing here so now we're inside here we can open up our everything tool here which is to search for those files so i'm going to go ahead and do that type uh, kaspersky or cas or whatever it is you want to type up the top here you're just trying to find the files that are related to that uh, antivirus so here they are right here and what we need to do here now is we're going to take ownership of these right here and we can then delete them if you try and delete them from here you'll probably find that it's not going to let you like so because we need to take ownership and uh, what we're going to do is quickly say skip and skip again there you go skip again and now it's only left a few more here now. So what we need to do is quickly take ownership of these. Like so. Push enter. And now we can uh, delete these files. So I'm just going to delete the rest of these. Like so. That's now deleted. The final one here, that's in the re recycle bin. And there's one more here that I'm going to get rid of. Like so. And this won't let me do it. So I need to quickly take ownership of it. There we go and push enter 
And once we've done this, we can now delete that file. And you should now be free of Kaspersky. Now, this is a log file, like I've said already. You can remove that if you wish inside Event Viewer. So with that done, we can now close this off and restart our PC back to our desktop. And then you can download uh, an antivirus of your choice that is uh, okay to use in the United States of America. Now, you do have an option to use uh, Windows uh, Defender if you want to. This is free, built into Windows. I don't particularly like that version of antivirus protection. I would prefer to use something like Bitdefender, which is my go-to uh, other than Kaspersky. So you can download something like this now, Bitdefender Antivirus. There is a free version if you want to use a free version. Uh, it is limited in the sense of you don't get some of the other paid premium features, but if you do want a free version, they do offer that. But there is another plus version for $14.99 there if you're interested in that. That's up to you. Or they do other versions as well. You can check out their website for more details on that. This is not a sponsored video for Bitdefender. This is just my personal preference for antivirus protection. So let's go ahead and finish this off and get this installed. You will need to create an account, even for the free version, and just put your email address in there and create an account. And you, once you're done, you should be up and running with a good protection. And Bitdefender is on par with Kaspersky. It's a very, very good uh, antivirus software. It's probably one of the best ones that you can use today. And the free version is still very good as well. It still uses the same virus definitions as uh, the premium versions that you just get extra features with the paid version. So depending on whether you need those uh, premium versions of features, then you can choose whether to buy it or not. This is it right here, the free version, as you can see. And you get the upgrade button if you want to upgrade it. Pretty decent bit of kit. You won't get VPN and safe pay and all this sort of stuff. These are premium add-ons. So you will need to pay for those. But other than that, it is a very good protection software for free. And uh, it's better than Windows Defender. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. If you are using a Kaspersky software and you want to uninstall it, then this is how you're going to be doing it. If you do live in the United States of America and you are using that particular software, you do have until September to uninstall it. Other than that, you will stop receiving updates and all that sort of stuff, and it will make you vulnerable. So you might as well remove it now and get something uh, a little bit better. Anyway, but that said, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a lovely weekend, and I'll catch you in the very next video. Bye for now.